Hello Gorges are on sale yet again, this time our fine sale, 3rd of October, there we are, lovely big fat catalogue, not a lot of people make these anymore, because no, it costs money to do it, and auctioneers don't like spending money, but uh, we don't mind, <laughs> and we make this lovely catalogue, and uh, they're available, um, if your request is decent we'll send you one without charging you, don't tell the knees, we have to tell the knees, Clifford said, uh, anyway, Catalogues are available, limited number though, so they do sell out, so watch out for that. Alternatively, and much more easily, go to the website and there you can get the flip catalogue, which you can, it's, it's sort of digital representation of exactly. this, and you can flick through it all and, and you don't have to. You can even download and print it. You can download and print it. You're saving paper, you're saving a huge amount of postage, and you're saving the postman's back, if not his job. So um, there we go, catalogue available online, flip catalogue, really good. What's in the sale? Uh, good mixture as ever, 500 odd lots. Just gonna pick a few things from each section. I said to Dan, what's good in the Oriental section? He said, well, it's a nice balance without anything really super wow, but you could mention the plate, lot 71. So there we go, lot 71. This is transitional, it's about 1630, 1635 it says in the catalogue, and it's using five colours. So at that date, it's pretty impressive to be making porcelain and decorating Gosh. it in those colours. Um, that's lot 71, estimate eight to 1200 pounds. The other thing he mentioned was this pot, lot 73. Why is it unusual? Well, look at that, can you see this, these rings? This is because it is pre-potting wheel, so they coil they have a long snake of pottery and they wrap it round and round and smooth it That's over and that it? makes the bowl. It's very, very rare. It's about two and a half thousand years old. Gosh. Um, burial goods so it would have been buried, came out of grave, which means the Chinese are not quite so keen on that. Quite literally dead men things. I mean, most things we have here are selling dead man's things, but yes, quite literally come out of grave. Um, estimate two to three thousand though, very rare. Dan says there are barely any in museums, even in the West, so um, an interesting thing. So, there we go, that's the Asian section. In the miscellaneous, um, there's a couple of really interesting in albums, tours of India, but the thing I'm going to pick out and show you really <laughs> yeah, floats nice. my boat, Lot 11. This is a, an Edwardian, late Victorian Edwardian smoker's box. Model as a century box, so we've seen things like those lovely silver Vesta cases you get that have enameled decoration. This one has watercolour decoration. This is a watercolour here. I think he's the Seaforth Highlander. That's what I've said in the catalogue. Probably wrong, but there we are. And it's signed by uh, Simkin, Richard Simkin, um, preeminent uh, military watercolourist of his day. And we're talking the same period, 1900-ish, late Victorian Edwardian era. So open up the sentry box using the key, which springs the lock. And there we have three drawers oh. for your tobacco. Uh, so great fun that, quite desirable, pretty good condition, a few little nicks to the corners, That's nice original thing. colour, estimate eight to 1200, it's gonna make more. Nice. Or I'll eat my hat, Oh, so he said. So there we go, um, European ceramics, again, a little bit slim, but we've got some rather fine Lucy Rye um, works and as a good bowl, quick peek at that, lot 38. Very much, very desirable at the moment. Um, and, and then there's three smaller ones. There are smaller ones yes. and larger ones with a bit of damage issues, but very much um, what people want at the moment. Uh, and aside from that, Philip saw these and, and brought them in for sale from a property. These are by an artist called Charles Vise, Chelsea Pottery, think 1920s to 30s or thereabouts. And um, often, yes, I'm going to get you one. Let's have this one. Thank you. It's a good representative example. Very typically of what we what we call gypsies, I suppose, certainly back in the day, what one would call gypsies, uh, selling flowers uh, with their children, selling balloons, um, selling lavender and the like. Very well modelled. Um, you know, think of a Dalton figure. These are sort of superior in execution, I would argue. That one's dated 1924, right. lot 36, estimate 450 to 650. Um, there's a more unusual one there with the two. Yes, that's rather fun, that one. Um, sort of Bacchic type youths um, riding, ears. they're jousting on goats, as you do. Um, <laughs> that one's dated 1924 as well. Gosh. Two and a half to three thousand though, because it's a right. more unusual model. So there we go, some interesting ceramics. Let's, uh, we drift past a nice Liberty mirror yes, and a Black something. Forest Bear hall stand, just to show the sort of diversity mm. of what's on offer. 
down the line, clocks, bronzes, cardboard, griffins. Just slow down, my darling. I just want to show people. Yes. Have a look at those. Some deco figures, Chinese furniture, pretty good selection this time of the Chinese furniture. Some rather splendid portraits. And a reasonably good selection of oak furniture, such as this one. If you go to the Wallace collection and uh, have a look in their, one of their main showrooms, they have a very similar one. They call it a dresser. French circa 1500. This is a bit later in date than that, but it's very isn't much it? of the type. That's lot 178. Mm. Oh, I love this chair. You like this chair? This, oh, is, this, this is great fun. fun. So this is Dutch. This is lot 199. It's sort of 19th century Dutch. What makes it good is that it is metamorphic. It metamorphs, it so morphosizes clever. into a set of library And it's steps. just such a pretty thing. It's a great thing, isn't it? Nice yeah. base line into the steps. Caning's good, color's good. A little bit of inlay underneath showing a book and a candle. I don't know if you can get to yeah. that. Yeah, oh, that's great fun, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. That's so so that's, that's you know another nice, interesting yes. thing. As I said, some good portraits. Quick peek in the main room. We've got a whopper right at the back. Michael Dahl, super full-size, full-length portrait. Uh, we have some more interesting furniture again. This is a military chest with the original cupboard top to it, which is a little bit unusual. If you're in your market for a good bookcase, how about this one? This is not 195. Rather splendid, sort of late Regency, early Victorian mahogany library bookcase with the break front. Pretty much all the things that people are looking for. There's some rather handsome marble busts here. A pair of them on the columns. You get the columns with them because it's nice to have the whole thing together. And then the other one's over here. There yeah. we are. The other one over Very there. Very nice. So they're handsome things again. They are lot number 10. Right. Okay. Estimate 1500 to 2000. And then, yes, there's a bronze ballerina over there. So all sorts of sculpture for you. We're going to have a look in the picture room. So here in the picture room, scan round. Yes. It's, I love it when it's, it's all looking good. I think huge, big congratulations, as always, to Alex and his team. They work so hard, don't they? They have done really well. They transformed what, a team. what can look like yeah. quite a messy area. It's yes. quite hard to get everything tidy in a place yes. like this because all the comings and goings. So, what have we got to show you in here? Um, lovely lot of original... That's um, so much fun. <laughs> ...satirical engravings by James Gilray originals not the later bloom editions they've been tabbed down onto these paper pages so you get um you get them how they've been stuck down and he's sorted those in about 20 30 lots of those some great fun well worth looking at the catalog just to see those yes. they're really really good fun um a mixture of art a good lot of silver this is um lord Bowden powell on horseback obviously leader of the scouts uh, lot three, founder of the Scouts, lot 398, so it's sort of Boer War scouting interest. And that's pure silver? Yes, three to five thousand pound estimate, really uh, nicely made. Yeah. These sort of um, silver equestrian or military models have been quite in fashion recently. They've been making good money, so it'd be interesting to see how he fits into those demands and sort of whatever people want, as we know, it varies. Oh no, I rather like this. So this is rather good. This is Robert Pollil Bevan. It's yes. the front cover of the catalogue. It's um, a sketch for uh, a Tattersall's um, horse fair um, scene, uh, fuller work. Um, but a good thing. Twelve to eighteen thousand pound estimate on that. That's a nice big fat estimate, isn't it? It's a it's a it's a good thing. Uh, there are other good things, of course, here, such as this rather nice Samuel John Lamorna Birch. Very nice original condition, 1933 Royal Academy exhibition. Next to it, a lovely Eric Slater, oh, woodblock yeah. print, Seaford head, very collectible again. And next to and that, and next to that, oh, the Levinson you've portrait. Got some lovely, lovely. There's some good me. art, yes. Yeah. She's looking, oh, she could be a bit challenging, I suspect. Like <laughs> 315, estimate four to six thousand, Nevinson. Lovely. Good name and good bit of style to it, that's what people are after. Drift past some flower paintings and the odd Edward Seago, Doily John, of course. There's Mrs. Doily John. We don't see her too often, but um, we think this was painted when he moved back to South Africa. 
um, from Tobago. This is lot 336. Other works of various points in his lifetime uh, hanging on the wall here. Over the back, Kiffin Williams. This is such a lovely, lovely painting, I think. Yep. This is a portrait of a blind man. And it's one of the things, he, he's one of his subjects that he did return to. Lot 362, come from a private collection in Eastbourne. Sat with the town and museum for a little while, actually. But uh, estimate 15 to 20,000. Again, Kiffin Williams, very much a name that people are after. You hover around the art. Yes. We come around here. I'm just going to show you a few more pictures. Oh, I like this. Settee? You love settee. I do, yes, I do. It's such a lovely. So we, Queen Anne we chose Bible. that for the back of the catalogue. It's so pretty. Yeah, she knows what I really like her. It's got old upholstery, it needs yep. some work. The frame's pretty solid, but good good looking piece there. Yes. So on the back wall here, from a property uh, yes. in Furl, no less, three very early Mary Feddens. So Mary Fedden, we think of as sort of typically still lifes or Julian on the beach or the odd cat in a slightly sort of cubist. Um, form of painting. These are 1948, just when she'd met the man who's going to be her husband. And but at the time, this chap, Mr. Donington, Robert Donington, um, took a shine to Mary as well. And uh, family legend has it that he, even though he was married, he was he was he was quite taken with Mary. Um, and his wife actually said, look, you, you, you can commission her to put, paint your portrait because that will make it a bit more professional, and you can forget your Dilly dandy ideas, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, she Gosh. did paint him, there he is. Um, and uh, he did go on to become pre sort of fairly preeminent person in the, in, uh, the world of classical music. Uh, at the same time, she painted his holiday home in Cagwith, uh, down in Cornwall. Oh. Um, this is a fisherman's cottage that was, he converted to a holiday home, so she must have visited it. Mm -hmm. Don't take it away like that. <laughs> And the third picture oh, that, I love that again this one. came from, that he acquired from her, is called The Lion and the Lamb. Oh. And I suspect we can read all sorts of symbolism yes. into this. Um, is this Julian? Is this Robert? What's quite, quite what's going on here? There's certainly more than one just initially sees. Quite a sort of symbolism to it. It's a lot of 350. Oh, so it's fabulous. We've said 10,000, 15,000 and... 20,000 as lower estimates on these three feddens. They're very unusual in their oh, early works. They're great. Um, she can make big, big money. So really look forward to seeing what happens to those. Great so, story. Great mixture. We'll go and have a look at the jewelry and then let you go. Okay, so nice lot of jewelry, of course. Jewelry and watches, really good offering of watches from a small one. Thomas Tompion and Edward Banger. Thomas Tompion, one of the, the preeminent names in English, clock making, but he made a few watches as well. And that's the Tompion and Banger watch, got 420, rather unusual. Um, a good selection of, of Rolexes and, and other preeminent makes such as Patek Philippe. There we are, there's a five to seven thousand pound uh, gold example there, lot 426. So good lot of watches, mostly gentlemen, so I, I have to add. In the jewellery, well, a raft of um, Cartier and other goodies. There's some lovely ones, aren't there? Some lovely things. A little looky. There's a whopping great big diamond there as well, isn't there? There certainly is. And earrings. Yeah, a pair of fancy yellow ear studs, retailed by Graf, no less. So uh, some very good diamonds in the cell. Uh, some lovely early jewellery, good mixture here, uh, such as this little um, fob seal with uh, Halley and his comet um, engraved into the intaglio. That's a little royal presentation pendant with George III upon it. So uh, other good things in amongst there. And near the end of the sale, one of the highlights without doubt, we open up a lovely box. We always like to open up a nice little box like this. Uh, it's got the good old Cartier mark inside the lid. The front drops down oh, showing what the original beautiful. leather looked like. And there we are. There's an absolute stunner of a Cartier traveling or bedside timepiece. Unusually, a lot of them we see are all silver and enamel. This one has a, a, a rather splendid agate foot. So that's a gorgeous thing. That is yes. lot 512, estimate so four to 6,000, diamond set hands, oh, absolute beauty. Useful, so it? some really good things. Uh, one little update, when I came down to the strong, I was speaking to Roger, I said anything different happened to the cell? He said, it's not Lord Baden-Powell, that statue. We've been informed it's a city imperial volunteer, no less. So forget the Baden-Powell bit, but still a very interesting thing. So there we go, really good mixture. Strongly recommend you come and view 
um, the Friday, Saturday till one, and then the Monday. Uh, sale starts on the Tuesday at 10. Um, but yeah, well worth coming and have a look. And while you're here, you can look at the Lux sale and the other sales, etc. So it's a really good time to come along and have a look at this one. And otherwise, thank you for watching. As ever, come along and have a look. If not, send us your questions and we'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.